just put the tiger in the shot. <laughs> totally forgot about the tiger. Hello and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, one and all. My name is Drew Nugent, no relation, coming at you live with the trio, the trio us. That's right, right here from the one and, one and only Attic Brewing Company, one of my favorite places to set up musical shop. And joining me this wonderful evening in now 2021, can you believe it? We have the one and only Brennan Ernst on the guitar, Archtop, Ala, Eddie Lang, Dick McDonough, all things there and thereof. And the one and only Steve Moise coming in on the low brass with the valve trombone and the tuba. And we're going to be playing you some offerings in the vein of hot jazz and other early forms of syncopated popular music and whatnot. This first offering we give you is a beauty from the great Duke Ellington. It's entitled... Uh, the mooch. One, oh, get in there, you get in there. Arrangements while you wait. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, 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 um. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
That was The Mooch by the great Duke Ellington and Bubba Miley from the Cotton Club years. One of, one of the greatest songs that they ever wrote. And um, it's a pleasure to be here for you, coming at you live, as it were. Safety precautions included uh, here at the Attic Brewing Company, playing you some of these vintage, obscure, and known hits from the realms of hot jazz and beyond, as it were. And again, we have Brennan Ernst joining me on the guitar and Steve Moise on the low brass doing the valve trombone and the tuba. And we got a few selections for you. And uh, let me uh, break character of the era here and check out, uh, oh, Bill Collector's found me. We got a new voicemail, isn't that wonderful? Oh, right, that was a Duke Ellington. Um, we're gonna go into a pop tune that was a really, really uh, popular tune. That's why it's called pop tune from uh, the late 1920s entitled, I Can't Believe That You're In Love With Me. It was written by none other than Mr. Turner Layton. Here it is, the yeah, B-flat, gentlemen. All right. For all the cokeheads out there. Oh. Kisses too, I never knew what they could do. I can't believe you're in love with me. You're telling everyone I know you're on my mind. I'm on your mind to each place you go. They can't believe you're in love with me. And I have always placed you far up above me. I just can't imagine that you would ever love me after all is said and done to think that I'm the lucky one I can't believe you're in love with me To think that I'm a lucky one, I can't believe you're in love with me. <laughs> if 
after all is said and done To think that I'm the unlucky one Oh, I can't believe you're in love with me That was I Can't Believe That You're In Love With Me, written by the great Turner Layton. Uh, I'm drawing a blank at who the lyricist was on that, but it was just one of my favorite tunes and a favorite summarily of the uh, 1920s and 30s. And uh, I'm actually going to switch up horns, I think, for this next one. This is a uh, 1925 CG Con Victor model, one of the most popular horns that was ever bought by brass instrument players, especially cornet players. During the oh get out of there, during the 1920s, they actually first came out with this horn around 1914, and didn't stop production of them until the, uh, I would say the 1950s or 60s. And this one, on the other hand, is a what they call the equivalent of hen's teeth, in the sense this is a very rare model made by the Harry J Company out of Chicago. And this was called the Columbia Trumpet Cornet Model. And this was the exact same model used by a one Louis Armstrong and even more importantly, a one King Oliver, who was the teacher of Louis Armstrong. And if you notice, this is a detachable lead pipe extension that you push this, if you have this all the way out, it's now in concert A, but push it in, it's a micro tuner. Now we're at concert B flat. Screw that little nubbin back there. And Miles Davis even had one of these. These were very, very, um, they were a hybrid horn. So is this one. This is a micro tuner right here. But these horns were capable of producing a lot of sound and doing it in a very singular way. So let's see how much I can not screw up this next song on this instrument. It's so beautiful. I don't deserve you. All right, gentlemen. Let's behold the wonderful list we have here. Well. This is a tune that um, I learned from the great Lee Morse. We might as well bang it out now. Anytime, any day, anywhere. I'll lead us in, I'll lead us in song from the piano here. A little tune written by one of the greatest uh, songwriters and vocalists, Miss Lee, Lee Morse. Uh, not Lee Morse, Lee Wiley, sorry. The other Lee. Um, she co-wrote this with Victor Young when they were working with the Casaloma Band. It's called Anytime, Any Day, Anywhere. Anytime, any day, anywhere. Say the word, you'll be heard. I'll be there. Makes no difference where it leads me. I'm gonna come running if you need me. Anytime, any day, anywhere.
Now don't you lose it. Don't you lose it. for sure, baby, because I'm going to be there, I'll be there with bells on. Makes no difference where it leads me. I'll come running if you need me anytime, any day, anywhere. That was a side saddle ending, you see that? That was any time, any day, anywhere. One of the most beautiful songs ever written. Yeah. I have yet to learn the verse, so shame on me for not doing that yet. I know, I'm not perfect yet. We'll see. Um, oh, that's the only problem with this set list. It always keeps turning itself off. All right. Bre this is a song that I just uh, found out the other day that Brennan and I both know. Um, on completely different spectrums of, well, not completely different, but in uh, a very different spectrums of the popular music of the 20s and 30s. I learned it from a recording from around 1924 that was done by the uh, California Ramblers. And Brennan, uh, which you learned it from a country, uh, a Western Swing Western record. Western Swing album recorded, I think, in 36, probably. Yeah, about 10 year difference. We, we, we knew versions about 10 years apart. And I saw him doing a live stream from his new house. He lives local in Germantown. And he was doing a live stream and playing that song. I'm like, wait a minute, I know that song. We got to do this on Tuesday. So we're going to play this song. It is, it's got great lyrics to it as well. Who wrote this? Who wrote this? I do not know who I forget. I have the sheet music for this somewhere, I think. It's called, I Had Someone Else Before I Had You and I'll Have Someone After You've Gone. And there's a great lyric in it about streetcars and sweethearts. They had a really neat rhyming couple, a very unlikely rhyming coupling with that that's very well placed and it, it, here it is. This is. It's a really hot little peppy tune. I think it's a great tune for people who are duking it, duking it out with their exes. <laughs> and you know, we, 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 when we used to play the farmer's cabinet, people first heard us playing this song and they would request it every week. <laughs> They're like, play that song for breakups. Here it is. I had someone else before I had you, parentheses, and I'll have someone after you've gone. What? That closed parentheses, yes. Don't leave that open. You'll get bad remarks from your grammar teacher. Someone else before I had you, and I'll have someone after you're gone. Sweethearts or streetcars, neither worry me. There'll soon be another along. No need to stay, go any day. There's a swinging door in my heart that swings either way. I had someone else before I had you, and I'll have someone after you go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Tune by Ted Fiorito and Isham Jones. It's entitled, I'll See You in My Dreams. Days are long, twilight sings a song of the happiness that used to be. Soon my eyes will close and I'll find repose. And in dreams you're always near to me. I'll see you in my dreams. Hold you in my dreams Someone took you out of my arms Still I feel the thrill of your charms Lips that once were mine Tender eyes that shine my way tonight I'll see you in my dream Thank you. 
once were mine Tender eyes that shine They will light my lonely way tonight I'll see you in my dreams That was I'll See You in My Dreams by Mr. Gus... Uh, Ted Fiorito and uh, Isham Jones, if I'm not mistaken. What a tune. What a tune, ladies and gentlemen. Brennan Ernst yet again on the guitar and Steve Moise on the low brass. We're going to swing out a tune for you, one of the most obscure ones from the, well, obscure by today's standards. At one point, it was quite a hit, written by the one and only Thomas Wright Waller, also known as Fats Waller. So everybody out there watching, take a Fats Waller of your drinks for Fats Waller. House rules. You gotta pull your mask up a little bit, though, otherwise your mask is gonna smell like beer for until wash wash day. Mm. So this is a tune called Sweet Savannah Sue, and it was from the hit musical review with all the music written by Andy Rizal, Fat Swaller, and Harry Brooks entitled Hot Chocolates. It's in here it is. Sweet Savannah Sue. Thank you. 
That was Sweet Savannah Sue. So hot we knocked something over over there. That was a little tune written by, yet again, Fats Waller, Andy Razoff, and uh, Harry Brooks wrote the beautiful verse on that. We got Steve Moise, Brennan Ernst, and my name is Drew Nugent. No relation. Thank everything that is holy above for that as well. And uh, th that was Sweet Savannah Sue. And uh, wh what did we leave out? We left out only a couple, I think. Actually, only a few. More than a couple and less than several. And how about, um, should we do, uh, we got Rosetta, or Found a New Baby, or Come Back Sweet Papa. How about Found a New Baby? Yeah. This is a red hot number written by Jack Palmer and Spencer Williams. And it was written around 1924, and the other hit they wrote while writing this one at the same time was a tune called Everybody Loves My Baby. Almost exactly the same song, just a few uh, paint scheme changes here and there, and completely different number somehow. Here it is. Cheers. <laughs> I tell you, her sweet turtle dove and simply made me her slave. I found a new baby. Yes, I had to fall for a new kind of baby. That's all, that's all. I tell you, that's all. For that. Oh, what a pair of thighs, what a pair of thighs. 
eyes, I ain't telling you no lies. What a pair of lips, what a pair of hips, it sends my mind on, on trips. Oh, I found a new baby, just had to fall for a new kind of baby, that's all. I Found a New Baby by Jack Palmer and Spencer Williams, 1924. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this final, final number we got here for you, as Louis Armstrong would put it, we're going to give you one of the good old good ones and written by Louis, uh, Louis Russell and Paul Barberin. It's entitled uh, Come Back Sweet Papa from 1926, possibly 25. Who knows? Let's just give it a go. All right, one.
Papa by Louis Armstrong and his Hot Five, written by Louis Russell and Paul Barberin. Once again, my name is Drew Nugent. No relation, this is the Midnight Society Trio with Steve Moise on the low brass, the tuba trombone, and the one only Brennan Ernst on the guitar. It has been an uh, absolute pleasure and a privilege playing for you here from the Attic Brewing Company. Thank you so much. Until the next time, good night.